IGCSE Biology Syllabus Statement 268B and here we're understanding the role of the kidney in the process of osmoregulation. So let's first of all explain osmoregulation. Osmo referring to osmosis and regulation to control. Here are cells in the body and ideally the fluid the tissue fluid which surrounds these cells like so this must be isotonic with the cytoplasm of these cells this means that the amount of water going into and out of these cells is equal and the cells will remain the same size shape and maintain their function. The danger to the tissue is that blood circulating into the tissue would be concentrated causing a hypertonic tissue fluid or it may be very dilute causing a hypotonic tissue fluid. Both of these are undesirable. Hypertonic would remove too much water and hypertonic would add too much water to the cell. So we want to keep the tissue fluid isotonic to the cell cytoplasm. This is achieved by controlling the composition of blood. Blood forms the tissue fluid. It is the role of the kidney to control the composition of our blood. Blood which circulates through our kidney, excess water, excess salts can be removed and excreted down through the ureter here. By controlling the content of water in the blood, and salts in the blood, the kidney can keep the blood and therefore the tissue fluid isotonic with the cell cytoplasm, maintaining the function of the cells.